What's up, guys? Today, so how's it going? So today I'm actually showing you guys how to how to properly use a um, Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, so say so you want to make a project, right? And you don't know um, how to make proper um, presentations, right? Oh yeah, by the way, hi guys, you like my new desktop? Really cool, right? Subliminal, subliminal, minimal, subliminal. Yeah. Maybe I'll add a new one saying sub, subli, subli, no, subscribe, no, subscribe, no. Yeah, I'm supposed to say that. Okay, so right now, go back to this. So you gotta go ahead and open PowerPoint. You're gonna have a presentation, right? Click to add title. So you wanna add any type of theme. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go to slid themes and you're gonna have um, all these themes or you can just go into this button called gallery you can have uh, choices about slide layout slide themes transitions which isn't really helpful oh by the way this tutorial is just for people that are like we're really stick with um, PowerPoint for PC um, it's kind of different, but it still has the same stuff. Even um, something is that it doesn't have the same stuff, or something is that it doesn't. You don't know how to find it. So I hope this is helpful for you guys, so I can earn more subscribers. For instance, um, when I add the title, right? It's gonna go ahead and open it and add it. Crap! I don't know what's wrong with my Mac lately. Um. Let's make one that you can guys see clearly. Want to change the title, right? Um, your presentation. Okay, and and subtitle, right? But you wanna you wanna do something, right? You don't like the preset that it has. You wanna change it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and close the toolbox gallery, and we're gonna go ahead and open the toolbox. Um, today, uh, for instance, uh, here you have my yours might be closed, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it will, it will come. So you can go ahead and you have font alignment and spacing, bullets and numbering, quick styles and effects, size, rotation and ordering. Colors, weights and fills, shadow, reflection, hyperlink, document theme, and slid, slide background. And if you guys use the uh, old 2007 PowerPoint of PC, you would know that those were in the, the it has some tabs, and all these options came here, like home and stuff like that. So, um. That is not piss. It's my it's the shower on. Okay. <laughs> um. This is so the same at me. Okay. So okay. You want to add a picture, right? So say. Um. To add a picture, let's close the toolbox here, and I'm gonna go to picture, insert picture. Then you're gonna have all of these, right? You can choose between desktop if you want to save them from your desktop. For instance, I want to save. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open Google and type in. Uh, mm, I don't know. Uh, pics, <laughs> PCs. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to images. Um, and this is the one, right? You can just go ahead and um, go on a full size image. I'm gonna right click and save image as and my desktop. Okay, one is saved. It's a Linux, I guess. And and I can just go ahead and okay, show you guys. You you can go ahead and to picture. Insert picture and Microsoft 05 Cold. That's the name 
of the picture. And I'm going to go ahead and insert and you can fit it like you want it, move it around, stuff like that. Oh, and if you want to like modify it, give some type of special effect or something, you can go to Toolbox and you know, make sure you have this clicked, right? You can go to Picture and you can go to Add Effects, for instance, uh, Bump Distortion, Circular Splash, Circular Warp Distortion, uh, Glass Lodens, uh, Hole Distortion, Pinch Distortion, Torus, and a lot of cool distortions. Uh, that's a lot. Oh, you can go to Side Rotation and Ordering color weights and fills but my preferred is custom animation so you can go ahead and when you put that you can, I wanna add a uh, rise up right so when I'm on the presentation let me quarter that for you guys when I'm on the presentation when I, go, when I put next it will make an effect that will jump in you can just go ahead and close that or if you wanna well let's go back what I, what I was saying on Ooh, I'm gonna go to picture and I'm gonna go to just uh, format. Crap. I think I forgot what I was supposed to do. Yeah, picture. No, it's not here. Uh, oh. I was sure it was here. Quick styles and effects. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. This is in quick styles and effects. Like this one's a lot easier to get in a PC, but it's, if, when you once you know what you gotta do, it's completely easier. You can go just go around and messing around, add any type of special effects for the 3D and click and blah blah blah, click click click, and yeah. Oh, okay. I think this is gonna be a part uh, two part video. So. Mm hmm Here you, well yeah, this is where you all your um slides are located on. So you can go scroll down on or navigate through them a lot easier. So you wanna create a new slide, you can go ahead and go to the new slide button. Click on it, it will make a uh, this new th thing. And I wanna add a uh, blah blah. So I'm sorry, I mean I don't wanna now I want to add another picture. I'm gonna click on this, or you just want to type in information. You can just go ahead and click on the top and step in, start typing. Hello guys, and as soon as you start typing, the options will delete unless you delete it. We'll add another picture, and you can select where to get the picture from. I want to desktop, select it, and insert. Here it is. Just messing around with it. And for uh, you want to make transitions, right? So it was just not like makes uh, one, and then suddenly comes the other one. That will be a lot of crappy. You gotta go to transitions, and here it is. Uh, you have uh, all transitions, fades and dissolves, wipes, push and cover, straps and bars, 3D and random. My favorite ones are fades and dissolves because it makes it like a lot professional. Uh, for instance, uh, you're gonna click on the one. Was that a Facebook one? Oh, crap. Uh, I'm gonna hit and click on that. Got it, and I'm gonna hit and fade, and I'm gonna go to a slideshow to show you guys. Click on this, and oh, yeah, by the way, I'm gonna click on the one that has to has a transition. For instance, this one has to transition into this one, so this one is the one that have to be selected. I'm gonna uh, click on fade smoothly and I'm gonna go to the slideshow click on this one and look how nice it looks you can have a, like just pictures and stuff and make it like you want it so this is about an end thank you for watching guys maybe I'll make a part two if you guys want more help go ahead and comment below thank you for watching bye